Hey, it's Drew Bennett for BenSpark.com, and uh, my daughter Eva is down here with me. And we are actually out on the beach in Wellfleet at the Audubon Society Sanctuary in Wellfleet. I am hopefully I'm keeping the wind at bay with my hands behind uh, my cell phone. There's, there's no cell phone use, so I am I am uh, being sneaky, taking taking a video with a cell phone. I, that's, that's what I brought to take pictures. So I mean I'm not talking on my phone or texting or anything like that. I'm just taking some pictures, which is you know when you're out in the, in nature, you know take. Leave only footprints, take only pictures. And uh, so this is, you got in the background there, my uncle with uh, Andrew, they're playing in the, they're playing on the beach. I think they're trying to uh, calculate the tide there. Can you see how fast it takes, yeah, how long up? it takes to get the tide to come in? Uh-huh, because the tide's coming in at noon and it's about uh, 11 o'clock. Yeah. So it's starting to come in a bit. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's going to be high tide at noon. The different places that you get, I think it's going to be a different speed. Alright, cool. Do you have fun out here? Yeah, because over there, there's like a bit of a lump. Yeah? A bit of a lump. Like, okay. like a curve. Yeah. So that would probably come in faster. Okay. And then the rest of it would. Mm -hmm. Then when the tie goes out, yeah. um, that part would probably go out faster and that one would take a little bit longer. Alright, cool. Hey, what else did we see? We saw some fiddler crabs, right? Yeah. Sort right. of. We're some. gonna show you the fiddler crabs right now. See, we're watching all those fiddler crabs for like all over the place. There's fiddler crabs. They call it fiddler crab village or city, and they're we just everywhere. The There's not as much activity as we've seen in the past because it's kind of cold, but there's still fiddler crabs, and they're quietly poking out of their holes. A little guy there. I take this kid, the kids on this nature walk because they're Audubon Society members and we enjoy it. So I'm laying down on the I'm laying down on the um, boardwalk right now, and there go all the crabs because Andrew just ran by. Ah, so Andrew, what did you build right there? The letter B, and what other letter? Because I can see the other letter. A. A. The tide's definitely coming in, and it's going over all little fiddler crab holes, so you can hear that bubbling. That's the water getting in every one of those little holes. And where do the fiddler crabs go after that? They go a little deeper. They can breathe yeah. into the water. Yeah, they can go underwater. It's okay. Dude, this happens every day, sweetie, twice a day. But we're right here on the boardwalk. And you can see right here where we were watching all the fiddler crabs is now filling in with water from the tide. There's water here on this side. I think they're going deep right now. Here. It was a different event in front of me, and we're uh, we just the tide was coming in. That was pretty cool. See all the water going into the holes that the fiddler crabs have, making like a little popping sound. That was fun. Uh, Eva's very concerned about the fiddler crabs and where they go, but I told her, you know, if they're they're there every time we come, if the high tide and stuff bothers them, then they're not going to, uh, you know, they'd move. So they're always there. So it's not like the high tide's gonna be too much of a problem. But it's really fun. It's a nice place here, learning some cool stuff. We had a really nice time at the uh, Wellfleet Audubon Society today. And then we went with my aunt and uncle to lunch and we met up with my grandparents at a place called um, the Bookstore Restaurant. And uh, that was really nice. It was right across the street from the uh, from the water and there was a big playground the kids could play on. Uh, we had uh, fish tacos for lunch, uh, which was funny because Alice and I went out for Mexican for dinner, uh, this place called uh, Casa Vallarta, and oh, it was amazing that, that I mean, lunch was really good, um, but, but dinner at the Mexican restaurant, it was, it was incredible. So here is uh, a quick look at our meal. <laughs> Okay, that 
is huge. Our dinners are enormous. Not only did they give us um, this as a free appetizer, but when this came, I literally said, wow, huge. And for dessert, fried ice cream. So that's it for today, and, and uh, tomorrow we have one more day on the Cape before I actually go to work tomorrow night. Um, and it's the end of the day, and I'm pretty tired. We're actually at, uh, in our room, uh, we each, uh, the, each of the kids have our own uh, rooms down at the Cape, and so Alice and I have this room, and uh, we all, we created kind of the, a lot of the decoration ideas, uh, a lot of flip-flops, a lot of beach stuff and um, kind of that the picket fence there my dad built and we painted and um, so that's a that's what it looks like down here down here on the cape and um, yeah so this is uh, Drew Bennett from benspark.com you can find me on Instagram as benspark on Twitter as benspark at facebook.com slash I'm not a famous blogger and uh, if you would subscribe that'd be fantastic I am uh, vlogging every day for uh, 2016 so we'll be back here on the Cape many times throughout uh, throughout the summer so bye